Hey, what's going on everybody? Thomas here, and this is Buffalo Fanatics. In this video, I'm going to be giving you guys my opinion on whether or not I think the Buffalo Bills should trade LaShawn McCoy. So I think one of the first things that people look at with LaShawn McCoy is his age. Yes, he is 29 years old, he's about to be 30, and we all know what happens to running backs when they hit 30 years old. They go way down, they decline, and it's usually on the very, very back end of their career. But the thing that I think a lot of people are missing is it's LaShawn McCoy we're talking about here. We're not talking about anybody else. We're talking about LaShawn McCoy, the man who still put like 1,138 yards last season, six touchdowns. He put in work last season and, you know, he put the team on his back. I mean, it's as simple as that. Now, the best way that I could describe how important LaShawn McCoy is to the Buffalo Bills offense is when you think about this. We all know who Mike Tolbert is, right? Imagine if Mike Tolbert was the first string running back for the last three seasons that Tyrod Taylor has been um, the starter for the Buffalo Bills. Imagine how quickly people would say, oh yeah, yeah, you're right, Tyrod Taylor is not good enough to be a starter. LaShawn McCoy makes Tyrod look good. Why? Because they rely on him. If you take away LaShawn McCoy, you are taking away Buffalo's entire offense. So if you really think about it, he really is such an important player for the offense. Sure, the defense was great. The secondary this year was fantastic. But we all know that the offense was not as productive as the defense. And especially when getting those turnovers, they wouldn't do anything with it. And that's the problem. Now, you look at LaShawn McCoy. He is the heart and soul of the offense, for sure. I mean, if you take him out, if, if any other player, you talk about Jordan Matthews getting hurt, Zay Jones getting hurt, Kelvin Benjamin getting hurt. If you take away like Vladimir Dukas, Richie Incognito, you take away Cordy Glenn and Deion Dawkins comes in. The thing is, you take away a good amount of players on offense and you can still say, well, we have a chance. You take away LaShawn McCoy and you got Mike Tolbert as your starting running back. You know, I just, I think that the best way to look at it is look at LaShawn McCoy and look at how much he means that offense. And if you were to take away, you know, LaShawn McCoy from that offense, think about the chances of actually making the playoffs the next year, considering how much we've relied on him. I mean, I remember how much we relied on like um, Fred Jackson and CJ Spiller um, a little bit, you know, before, before the shady days. And they were kind of our one, two, one, two. But the thing is, LaShawn McCoy is a very, very special player and you shouldn't trade him. And I think that, you know, the Eagles really messed up in trading him for Kiko Alonso. And I think that if the Bills trade him before he's done producing, it's just not a smart idea. The way I see it is that uh, we already have a certain amount of holes that we need to fill. Don't create more holes for your team, especially on offense. I mean, offense is already lacking. We, we need that big QB to come in. And we can't have a running back. We can't have no running back in the position to take over. We can't have Mike Tolbert saying, oh, I'll, I'll start I'll start as a running back because we all know how that's going to go. So we cannot trade LaShawn McCoy. I'm, I'm against it. And even if you got a first round pick for it, I, I, I still would be a little bit hesitant. Uh, I don't think they will give up that pick for LaShawn McCoy. And I think ultimately that um, LaShawn McCoy means so much to Buffalo and not just the team, but the city. I mean, he means so much to us and not just as a player, but as a person too in Buffalo. Like, you know, it wouldn't unite the team. Everybody would be like, what direction are we going? So I've seen a few mock trades um, in the past few days that basically say that what we could get for LaShawn McCoy, but for the most part, I don't think that uh, Sean McDermott and Brandon Bean really can find a deal where they can win now and win later by trading LaShawn McCoy. I think the best option is staying put with LaShawn McCoy and using your draft capital, your picks, to trade up and go get your guy. That way you could have still that solid running game and you can incorporate that good passing game with the drafted quarterback and hopefully they don't turn out like JP Lossman or EJ Manuel. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please go leave a like down below, comment what you guys think, and subscribe to the Buffalo Fanatics channel for more amazing content. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!